Homemade Whiskey Recipe and Technology The following recipe will allow you to make homemade whiskey according to a classic technology, which is used in Ireland and Scotland. It closely resembles the brightness of the ordinary moon, but it also includes an additional stage oak infusion, which lasts for six months or more. This time is needed to make a good alcoholic drink. To make homemade whiskey very similar to the original Scottish or Irish drinks, you'll have to go a long way, but the result will be worth the effort. Ingredients Barley malt 17.6 pounds 8 kilograms Water 8.45 gallons 32 liters Yeast the highest quality single malt whiskey can be made from barley. But you can also mix different types of malt to make blended malt whiskey. For example, barley, rye, corn or wheat. The overall proportions of ingredients remain the same. You can polish malt at home or purchase it at a specialist store. Where you get it isn't that. Important. What is important, however, is the quality of the water. Spring water or filtered water is perfect, but don't use hyperfiltration and don't boil. Observation. Use a thermometer at all times. Measuring the work temperature with the naked eye without thermal control will not produce results. Instructions. Making homemade whiskey. Crush the malt into a coarse bottom state, keeping the shell particles. Be careful not to turn it into flour. You just need to break the beans into small pieces. Properly ground whiskey malt is shown in the photo. You can skip this part if you have already purchased ground malt, which is an ideal solution for novice moonshiners. Heat a large metal container with water to 70 degrees Celsius. Slowly pour the malt into the hot water, stirring constantly with a wooden toothpick until smooth. Bring the wash to 65 degrees Celsius, very important, and seal. Keep the temperature stable, about 2 to 3 degrees, for 90 minutes. Check and stir every 10 to 15 minutes. Temperature control can be performed by Boiling At the end of this process, the upper part of the wash will be lighter and the grains will sink. Exposure to temperature causes the conversion of the wash, the conversion of starch to sugars and dextrin, soluble substances. Then, during fermentation, the yeast converts the sugar into alcohol. Observation the wash conversion only takes place in the temperature range 61 to 72 degrees Celsius. Otherwise, the process is stopped and there is no way to restart it. Remove the lid from the container and cool the contents to 25 degrees Celsius as soon as possible. For example, placing the container in a cold bath. Rapid cooling prevents unwanted microorganisms from spreading into the nutritional environment. This prevents acidic fermentation. Dilute yeast according to label instructions. Pour the wash into a fermentation container, add the yeast and stir. Leave the container in a dark room with a temperature of 18 to 25 degrees Celsius. Install an airlock. Depending on the quality of the raw materials, the activity of the yeast and the temperature, fermentation lasts from 3 to 15 days. While fermentation is active, remove the decompression chamber and stir the wash with clean hands or a wooden stick. When the airlock stops bubbling for two days, the wash becomes lighter and bitterer, there is no sweetness, you can proceed to the next step. Pour the wash into a still distillation through a strainer funnel to remove spent grains, which can burn during the distillation, making the whiskey bitter. Distill the wash obtained from the distillation. 
During the first distillation, do not separate into fractions, head, medium, tail. Stop collecting the product when your ABV drops below 38%. It will yield about 5 to 6 liters of moonproof barley at 40 degrees. Yield depends on the extractability of the malt, specifically, its starch content. The greater the extraction capacity, the better. Barley distillate after the first distillation. Determine the ABV of the distillate and calculate the volume of pure alcohol. Dilute moonlight with water up to 20%. Run the second distillation. Add the first 12% of pure alcohol separately. This harmful fraction is called heads and can only be used for technical purposes. It spoils the flavor of homemade whiskey and is harmful. Collect the intermediate path, hearts, until the ABV drops below 45 degrees. You will end up with 3 to 4 liters of the final product. Optionally, you can run the third distillation, separating the result into fractions, just like during the second distillation, gathering the head fraction 2 to 3 percent. This will improve the quality of the distillate. Now it's time to infuse the moonlight of the grain with oak. There are two ways to do this. You can buy an oak barrel, fill it with the distillate and infuse it in a cellar for at least six months, or use oak stakes. Using a keg is more preferable, but let's look at whiskey brewing technology with oak pins. You can use an oak trunk 30 to 35 centimeters in diameter. Oak should be at least 50 years old. The skin and fries contain excess tannins, which makes the flavor strong. That's why they shouldn't be used. Cut the trunk into pieces 5 to 8 millimeters wide. They must fit in the fermentation vessels of your choice. Pour the wooden steaks into boiling water, remove the decoction, soak them in cold water for 30 minutes and let them dry in the sun. Place the pieces in the fermentation vessels, 10 to 15 pieces per vial, and fill with the distillate diluted to 45 to 50 degrees. Then seal the containers and leave them in a cellar for 6 to 12 months. Prolonged aging enhances the flavor. If you are unable to access an oak trunk, alternatively you can use oak spirals, they are an economical way to infuse an aromatic flavor into your homemade whiskey. You won't get the full flavor of an oak log, but you will save time and effort and get a very good result. Strain your homemade whiskey through several layers of cheesecloth and bottle for storage. After one year of aging, now the drink is prepared and you can enjoy it. Cheers! Moonshine Life Recipes